Rebecca from My Darling Cupcakes, and today I'm going to show you how to make this fun themed chocolate covered apple. And I'm going to come in real close so you can see. Here we have our chocolate covered apple and this fun little embellishment here, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in just a few steps. So let's get started. I'm going to set this little guy over aside. What you're going to need for this is some melted chocolate. You can use milk chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever. You're also going to need some other melted chocolate. Now, my store, my uh, baking supply stores, sell this red colored melted chocolate. If you can't find it, just use white chocolate and that will work just fine for this. You're also going to need some red sprinkles. You can see here that's a, the sanding sugar sprinkle. Um, you can get that in a baking supply store or grocery store or anything. You're also going to need a few of these little lollipop sticks, a couple toothpicks, a few yellow candies. I used M&M's. You can use jelly beans, anything that's yellow. A uh, couple marshmallows, the big ones, and an apple. I used a Granny Smith for this because the chocolate tastes really good with these kind of tart apples. So, let's get started over here. I've got a little mallet hammer here that's going to make it easy to um, drill in this lollipop stick. You're going to want to make sure that the stem is taken off of this first. It'll make your life a lot easier. So, I'm just going to come in and tap a few taps down in here. You really want to make sure that this lollipop stick is really into that apple because it's a heavy apple and it will weigh down with the chocolate. So, once you're sure that you got it nice and sturdy in there, you're ready to go. Alright, let's see. I've got my melted chocolate over here. Put my little spatula off to the side. Take my apple and dip it into the chocolate. You're wanting to make sure that you get it all into that stem area too because you don't want any green showing. So really, really, really dip that in there. Nice and thick coating. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Shake off any of the excess, and you can see the lollipop sticks kind of starting to bow, so that's why it's really important to make sure you get it in there nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna put this on a piece of parchment paper. This will make it easy to pick it up afterwards. Now what I'm gonna do is take this marshmallow. Now you can use whole marshmallow, or what I'm gonna do is cut it in half. It's up to you, whichever your preference is. So take a little paring knife, cut it in half, then kind of reform it a little bit. Shove a toothpick through the bottom part of it, and again, toothpick. And then come in and dip those marshmallows right into that same milk chocolate, making sure to cover everything and shaking off the excess. Um, and then you're going to take this and poke it into a piece of styrofoam. I covered the styrofoam in a piece of saran wrap so that way I can reuse it for other drying purposes as well and I'm not ruining the styrofoam. It doesn't really matter. You can get rid of the styrofoam. It's up to you. So uh, I just covered it so it wouldn't make a mess. So then you do both of these little marshmallow pieces and these are going to serve for your ears. I've seen it where they kind of put it on before, but I found that this way is actually easiest, where you dip the ears first and then let them dry completely before putting them on, because I found when you do a second coat to coat the ears, it makes it really goofy. So over here, I've got a already hardened piece of uh, chocolate covered apple, and I have two ears. Oops. I'm going to grab myself a napkin over here and move this out of the way. Now I'm going to take this off of the stick. You don't want it to be completely dry because it will be hard to get it off the toothpick. And I'm going to just move this off. You have to work quick on this. Dip it into your chocolate and put it onto the apple. See? And you can touch up if you need to. This is why you kind of need the napkin. So here, work quick, put it onto my apple. You might need to hold it there for a second until it catches. 
and then you can move it around as you need to. Now I'm going to take another napkin. Clean up over here. I'm going to take my little spatula. If you want to come in over here and see this, I'm going to just kind of touch the ears up where I have touched it because you don't want to see any fingerprints or smudged chocolate. That wouldn't be nice. Of course, make sure you do this with clean hands because if you're going to give these two people to eat, you really want to make sure that it's nice and clean. Okay, so we've got our ears on here, which we're good to go. Now I'm going to come in with this red chocolate. And again, if you could only find white chocolate, that's perfectly fine because we're going to cover this in red sprinkles as well. Normally you'd want to wait for the ears to harden completely onto this chocolate. Uh, but for the sake of this video and for time, because I'm sure you're, I don't want you to get bored, I'm going to show you this. You just come and dip it into this red chocolate and just swirl it in there. So you see this little guy. These are going to kind of look like pants. So, right there. Now, while this is still wet, we're going to go in with our red sprinkles and just kind of roll that around in there as well. And it's important to do it while the chocolate is still wet because that'll obviously serve as a glue for it. So, really do a nice coating of these sprinkles. Um, this is why it's important to do a nice coating because if all you could do is find a, the white chocolate, then this will give you that red coloring you need. So you see here, you've got your red coating. Now our last step is to add these little buttons. So again, I'm going to use my yellow M&Ms. You can use the um, jelly beans if you want, any other yellow candy. I'm going to just kind of gently dip it on here. And smudge that into his pants. You might have to hold this here for a second. Again, ideally you'd want for everything to kind of harden before you move on to these steps. Um, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to put these on there now. And you can always touch up. Actually, I should use the red chocolate since this is the red portion. Okie dokie. So not the best, but you get the idea. Um, again, you're going to want to let everything dry in between steps. So you would dip the chocolate, let that dry, let your ears dry, dip the red chocolate, let that um, dip it in the sprinkles, let it dry, and then put your buttons on. But this is what the finished product should look like. Again, I'll go back to this one. So it's a cute little themed chocolate covered apple. Super fun, super easy. And your kids will have a great time doing this. It makes perfect presents. I hope you like this. Check out mydarlingcupcakes.com or visit me on Facebook. Have a great day.